see, he's really pretty. I like, I really like the patterns on the tails. Um, I've not kept beardies in a long time. I mean, a long, long time. I mean, I've not kept them about, kept them for a good couple of years. Um, I had them for a little while, and then basically I got out of them. Um, I know I regret it because they're such smart animals and they're just such awesome pets to have. Um, I regret it. But these guys are from the same clutch. It was a German giant male to a it was a uh, uh, sandfire hypo female, and these were the only two normals. So I was, uh, I, was actually, I was actually given these two. Um, they were on free ads, and basically I went to go buy uh, a sandfire hyper baby, um, and they had them left. And so said uh, basically we've got two left. Um, they're not 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 morphs. We think that one of them's het German, and the other one's definitely gonna be a het for sandfire or hypo. Um, so I got the big guy, which is well, as you can see, it's huge. So I think I think he's had German giant. The, he's like a dad. I have a dad, and dad. The dad was massive. The dad was stupidly big. Um, and then there's that little one, which is probably he, he, he's not a head. I don't mind because he's still a lovely little lizard. He's really nice. Um, he much prefers mealworms, and this guy much prefers crickets. He really likes crickets. He's a big fan of crickets. So me. Yeah. Um, I got his guys out the other day. I got some photography done for them. Um, they seem quite interested in the baby corn snakes. I don't know if they're to eat or, or what, but, oh, someone's on the move. Um, but yeah, they seem quite interested in the corn snakes. I think they're just, like, watching them, because it's kind of cool. Um, I'll probably do a little, like, might do an attachment video to this. If not, if I don't, I'll probably do a separate video. Um, I've got a few new tarantulas downstairs in, like, my reptile room. So, well, shared reptile room. Um, I've got, uh, one that, which is I'm selling, which is a, uh, wait a second, I think it is a... If I go to my hotmail account, it's a species from the Philippines, and I completely forgot it was. I also got a Pokeferia Formosa, which um, well, I want to keep her, but I've got a little business with inverts, and um, it's going to be really hard to, oh, really hard to keep her if I can't even pay for like the food or any money towards a retro expo. So I think I might, I might have to sell her. If I do, then um, I'll end up buying another one because I got her at such a cheap price. It was stupid. Yeah. Just looking at me now. Um. Oh, there it is. Um. It wasn't. Don't say that. Says. Just can't see anything on here. Um. That actually says a Orphanicanus. Orphanicanus species. Um. Basically, just a random import. Um. I found out the guy's quite rare. I got him for a brilliant price. I think I got it for about twenty, thirty quid, and she's worth a good fifty, sixty. So I racked off on eBay for forty, forty-five. Um, I can make a little bit of profit and maybe get some new teas to sell. But um, I'll definitely show you my poke for Formosa because she's lovely. She's I don't hold her, but she's she's quite calm as far as, as far as pokies go. I mean, pokies are quite are usually quite skittish and quite aggressive. But she's not she's quite passive. She just sort of sits there and if you disturb her, then she'll kind of move out the way, but not like <coughs> she'll kind of move out the way, but she won't be kind of like she won't dart. She'll sort of like walk. But they're they're all good feeders and um, I love my little biddies. <laughs> Oh, names. Um, my friend Ellie, she actually named, like, these two. Um, we named Little One, I think she named it High, after, after like, High Davison or something. And I named this one, I named this one Zuki. Um, I think Zuki's quite a, quite a, little, quite a cute little pet name. Um, I think, I think it suits him quite well. I wasn't called them Zion, I don't even watch The Matrix, but I thought I'd, I thought I'd make, I thought I'd make a cool, day, cool name one day, so. Yeah, I've got those guys all done up. Uh, he's a bit... He, he he jumps around quite a bit, then he sort of, sort of stops. He just wants to get back to his cage. Uh, he just wants to get back to his cage, so he wants to do. Up and back in. Come on, matey. Come in. And he really cannot wait. <laughs> he doesn't wait at all. He just jumps up hands straight in. Does not wait. Um, don't know if you can see that, but my, my huge pleco. Yeah, that's only a temporary tank for my little parasitids. I've got a little... I've got a very young pair. Um, I've got two plecos, but... um. Yeah, I've got a big, I've got a big, like, taller version, I've got, like, a taller version of that tank down in my shed, which I'm going to set up for them. Like, obviously, you fish, it's not a reptile, you can't just whack them straight into a tank, you've got to give them a good couple of weeks to let the, the bacteria circulate in the water so it's healthy for them. And he's got a really weird little leg jiggle, do you see that a little weird little dance move there by the beardy? Um, what's funny is I wake up every morning and I see these two beardies just scratching at the glass to come out. And um, their favourite little toy, if I can find it, oh, it is. Their favourite toy is this. They come out and they, I don't know why, but they absolutely love it. They go wild on it. They run around with it, they jump on it. They go insane. They bloody love this thing. Um, it's just funny. 
I've got some pictures of them on it too, and I've got a couple of my my, my Ray Bans, my green Ray Bans. Just silly, but um, yeah. I, this I'm also gonna do a bit of a shout out because um, I think I'm quite I'm thoroughly impressed with this guy. Um, this is I think his name is this is the Beardy Kid. Um, since I got my since I got my beardies, um, he is quite a uh, helpful to looking after them. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, there it is. Uh, beardy kid. I don't know if you can see that. Um, basically, he's got like cricket incubation, house sexual, house sexual beard dragon. Um, basically, I've not known much about these guys for a long time. Beardies. I've only kept them very briefly. <coughs> I mean, I've never, never actually kept an adult. I've only ever kept like babies, juveniles, and I've had to either give them one or, or look after them for somebody. So yeah, he's really helped me out because I really do plan to keep these guys adults. Um, not going to breed them obviously because of the same, same clutch, but. I'm hoping they're both females, and if they are, then I'll just go and buy a like an, an adult male, normal or hypo or German giant. Um, probably, probably most likely me a morph, and it might be this is Retro Expo. But yeah, this is the tank for now. It's just a two foot glass. Glass isn't good for adult beardies, but for babies, it's absolutely fine. Um, they don't. There's no. There's no males. I don't hope there isn't. Um, there's no males in here yet. Well, they haven't matured, so they're not fighting. There's no. There's no food on the outside of the glass. They can. They can. Do they want? Um, set up is basically I've got a tile underneath for that heat. That's a hundred watt heat light. Um, I've got a tile because that wasn't getting hot, hot enough on the sand. Which, by the way, is calcium sand. Um, I know they say don't use it, but I've kept beads for on calcium sand. I've kept lots of animals with calcium sand. Um, it passes through them. If they, do, if they do start grabbing it and getting a taste for it, then I'll instantly move them onto beach chips or, or maybe maybe just tiles. Just tiles will do nicely, but. I think it might be a bit bad for the legs and the nails because if you put them on tiles, it really grinds down the nails, which is quite bad for them because they end up with like stubby nails and they start bleeding and stuff. It's not too good. But sand is quite soft. Um, all their food is given to them in a bowl, apart from crickets, which end, usually end up on the cork bark anyway, so that won't really matter. But their food bowl is just down there. It's got some like just up strawberries because I put them there yesterday. I do one day veg, one day live food. Um, and the strawberries, like, I hate using strawberries, they dry up really fast and they just turn to, like mush and dry up, it's horrible. It takes ages to clean the bowl. Um, but they, they love strawberries, they absolutely love them. And also got some romaine lettuce and some, like, curly cow in there. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing them curly cow, mushroom, romaine lettuce, and carrot. And maybe, if I can find some, maybe some pepper. But a little bit, tiny little bit of pepper, because, um, I think, I don't know, they really like the smell of it. I don't know why. Strange. I may have kiwi, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, cheers for watching. And, uh, peace out.